That's me, sir. Chad, you go. The sneeze. The sneezing splatter. Not to remind him, Ipan. No. Gerald Mikhail Brassens. What is it? Yes, sir. Keep up the good work. Lovely cheese and butchers this year. <laughs> What is it you want? I'll tell you what I want! I'm Jeremy Ivan Ilyich Jeremy I too serve the Ministry of Public Parks. Oh, yes. Oh, 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 leave it be, it's all right, I say. <laughs> when I sneezed on you, sir, it was unforgivable. You're not to be sneezed! <laughs> I'm not a petitioner. Do you not recognize me, sir? We met last night under rather explosive circumstances. The sneezer, the one who sneezed, the sneezing splatterer. This is a hateful note, sir. A hateful note. Finally, staff that committed the crime, sir. But absolve the innocent body behind it. Exile my nose. But forgive me, sir. Forgive me. I am not angry with your nose. I am too busy to be occupied with your nasal palms. Don't bother me with this silly business again. God bless you, sir. Thank your wife. Thank your household. Oh, God, I'm happy. Wait a minute. I am furious. Don't you? So What is it? Certain events take place that are the cause of humiliation. And still, you ask, what is it? What is it? What is it you want? I'll tell you what I want. I want to apologize again, sir, for sneezing on you. I want to try me. Ah! It was an accident, sir. Oh, it was just an accident. Oh, you idiot. What is, is your name? Shetham. You are the son of all the baseball. You are the name you ever read from. You are nothing. Nothing. Do you hear me? Nothing! What happened next was quite simple. Ivan Ilyich Chernikov retired home, removed his coat, lay down on the sofa, and died. Witness for yourself the case of a young governess. after and educates the children of a well-to-do family. They do well in mathematics, I assume. Yes, Mum, especially fun. Oh, I knew it. But don't you realize what I've done? He gets that from his mother, wouldn't you say? Yes, Mum. Ten, fifteen, twenty. For the money? Fuck the chest game! Fuck 
hardest winter. What? Public Jeffy always waiting till the very last second before jumping in and pulling me out. Don't forget the name, sir. Help us drowning. Help us can't swim. You look toward me. I can't see you too well there. Oh, God, help. Somebody help. I drown. Can you just drown now? Good heavens. What was that fellow's name? The day the world's gone mad has finally come at last. Our next story takes place in the theatre on an empty stage when a young girl came to audition for my latest play. Next actress, please. Name? Nina Mikhailovna Sarah Schneider. I can be any age you want. I'm looking for a 22-year-old girl. Now, how old are you? 22, sir. I would have guessed 27 or 28. But do you have a temperature? Yes, 103. Good God. What are you doing walking around in the dead of winter with a temperature of 103? Go home, child. I've read almost everything you've written. The articles, the stories. I love the what about. <laughs> That's very kind of you. Perhaps we do have a few minutes. In the meantime, we must work. Only work. Tomorrow I shall go alone and I shall teach at the school and I shall give up my whole life to those who need it. Thank you, sir. That's all that I wanted. You've made me very happy. Ned, will someone please go after her? She's the actress I want. Our final story takes place in a bank. There are three characters. Mr. Kistinov, the bank manager, myself, who will play Little Jacket, the assistant manager, and the third character, a woman, the defenseless creature. Good morning, Mr. Kistanov! Please, please lower your voice. I'm sorry, sir. There's a woman outside who wants to see you, the directing manager. But perhaps if you're not well... No, 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 no. The business of the bank comes before my minor physical ailment. Good morning, madam. I pray God you can help me. No one in this world seems to care. Calm yourself, madam, please, I beg you. The bird was sick. My sister, she gets dizzy, sir. So I was cleaning her house and feeding her children. We're going to have to remove you. 